Time for a little inspector theater. Can I come in? Come on in, Mr. Fire. The door's open for you. Thank you. You always make me feel so warm and welcome. <laughs> it's my favorite, favorite joke. I never get tired of that. But no, these doors should be sealed. Okay, I mean, excuse me, should have spring, spring, automatic spring closers on them. Because most of the thing, you might have a jalopy out here or something, but most of the things we care about are on this side of the door. So it should be, you know, that wasn't required when it was built. No, it's supposed to have a spring. But, but we don't, they're not required here. No, they're supposed to have a spring. I get it, I took my spring off. It was a nuisance. It was a nuisance carrying groceries in. I made an educated decision to do a foolish thing. Somebody else might have done, made a similar decision. I understand that we should have a spring on this. But that's not why we're here. We're here for the garage car entry overhead door opener. Yay! How's that for an intro? Okay, our control button is higher from the ground than five feet, as it should be, to help protect little hands from coming up here. But we should have a warning notice. Uh, I call them squash stickers. There should be a, a lot of times there's an illustration on there of a child being crushed. And you should have a warning notice right there and we don't. we don't we should have a warning notice on this door like the, likewise and and we don't okay we do have a pull handle that's a good thing optic sensors are closer to the garage floor than six inches that's a good thing but the wires go into the sensors the wires are not insulated the staples are not insulated they can pinch pinch your wires we should have spring tension notices on the corners of both sides of the first panel first second third fourth first set of stairs first shingles everything starts at the okay so we should have spring ten we should have spring tension notices there we should have warning notice posted here and our manual door lock should have been decommissioned so that we don't accidentally cause damage to the door we close it we forget it we start opening it we got problems okay so that's it what else have we got bud well i have disengaged this to check the balance so the door is balanced. So that's, we, we know that the door is balanced. Sometimes I can reset it like this. And I did. Okay. Now, on my inspection agreement that's posted on the website, the inspection report that my, the inspection agreement that my dear client signed, and, uh, and I'm telling you now on the report, in the report, that I do not do block test. I have a, for the door emergency reverse. I have instructions on how to do a block test baked inside of your inspection report. And the seller can demonstrate to you that the block test, if that's something y'all can look at it together, the listing agent can do it. I'm not going to do it. I disclose that I'm not doing it. I will break the beam. Okay? So, and that's how I figure out whether the optic sensor is working or not. So I'm going to come over across here with my big old flat zombie hoof. Like a dancing fool, I'm gonna push the button. I'm gonna trudge across the tundra. I'm gonna break the beam. I'm gonna break the beam. <laughs> and it goes into reverse. And it goes into reverse. So I know it has a safety reverse feature that works. I just don't know what the spring tension is on it. And you might want to adjust it to meet your own personal.